Yes, the Yamaha MT-09 is a proper bike now that it is fully modded with the full Akrapovich carbon exhaust and the ECU is flash. Totally different bike. Mm. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. But, you know, a lot of you guys ask me, you're like cycle cruising. You know, you should have got the Yamaha MT-10. You've had liter bikes before, so why would you go to the MT-09? You should have got the faster Yamaha MT-10 with that amazing cross-plane uh, inline-four engine. Well, guys, there's a multitude of reasons why I went with the MT-09. I could get any bike that I want, guys. I mean, I've had uh, the Ducati XD Avail, which brand new is like 25000 I had an Apria, a 2017 Apria Tuano V4 1100 factory, a brand new 18,000. Um, I could get any bike I want. I pay cash for my bikes. Uh, money is not a concern when it comes to bikes. So it doesn't matter. It's not the, then the price difference between the MT-09 and the MT-10, I think is only probably like $1,000. Cause you can get sick deals on any of these bikes, man. The MT-07, 09 and 010. Sick deals, and they're all best sellers. All three of those bikes are awesome sellers, and they're awesome bikes in their own right. Okay, let's get that straight forward. I'm going to tell you exactly why you should probably get the MT-09 over the MT-10 and why I did. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through first off i have to say in my opinion i think this looks much better than the mt10 okay <laughs> let's get that out of the right the number one issue that complaint that I had with the T10 was the headlight. The headlight looks like the movie, the robot in the movie Short Circuit. It looks cute on a robot, but not cute on a motorcycle. Okay, <laughs> I don't like that. That was really the main drawback, and it does weigh more than this bike too. I think that bike weighs in at like 450 or something like that. This bike weighs 425. Some of you guys may be wondering what gear I'm wearing. Uh, for those of you guys who want to get this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with an auto tint shield, uh, best helmet I ever had, by the way, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, Sadichi jacket with the water bladder pouch. That's why I'm not wearing a backpack. Uh, all my gear always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Oh, this bike sounds proper with this Akrapovich exhaust now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! That pull off the line is oh so much better than in stock form, man. But I tell you, you know, the power that's on the Yamaha MT MT10 versus the MT09 is not leaps and bounds more power like the, the MT07 versus the MT09. So I mean, come on. If you are going to go on the highway, first off, make sure he sees me, man. Defensive riding 101, guys. Be proactive. Use that horn. Don't be scared to. It could help save you from having a real effed up day. But the MT-10 on the highway will whip this bike, you know. Even this bike modded, which modded greatly improves, dramatically improves the power on this bike. But on the highway, marginally, it's much better than it was stock, but it's no super bike performance on the highway, okay? Which is to be expected. I mean, that bike is a, it's a liter bike. This bike is 850 cc triple. This this bike shines on the back roads in the streets, you know. But it does fine on the highway. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a highway bandito. I don't spend a lot of time on the highway. I'm not doing any touring at all on the bike. The MT-10, you probably could, you could tour on that bike, I'm sure. Throw a screen on it, throw some bags on it, and you're, and you're good. 
you could do that on this bike though you know what i'm saying you're just not going to have that ridiculous power at the top end uh compared to the mt10 but the main reason why i got the mt09 I, versus the mt10 first off i wasn't looking for a crap load of power i already had i was i already had the top of the line street fighter bike that wins every shootout the 2017 and newer Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory that I own. It won this year, as old as it is now. It even beat the, the brand spanking new Ducati V4 Street Fighter. <laughs> the Aprilia Tuono is an amazing bike. Don't get me wrong, MotoGP sound V4 when you hit the higher RPMs. bike but it has some downfalls I don't trust the reliability please get me home I don't want to walk this home but I trust the reliability with Yamaha so if you're gonna get a super bike guys a, a super bike street fighter a super street fighter super naked whatever you call it I would choose the MT10 probably over the Prius Tuono for me I just wanted some grunt off the line some torque off the line pull I want mid-range that's all I'm looking for. And I wanted a good looking bike and I wanted a comfortable bike. This, the MT-10 is a comfortable bike like this bike, the upright seating position, you know, the, the foot pegs are lower, very comfortable for the legs. Um, uh, but that bike's gonna produce more heat, obviously, because it has a, the super bike engine. This bike produces no heat at all. And, they, and, and this bike is cheaper, like I said, you know, I'm a cheap dude. So overall, if I'm going to go with a bike that's, that's got some great performance like this bike has modded at a cheap price, it's like it's, it's hard to not get this bike. And I love the looks of this bike. You know, the looks of a motorcycle is subjective. Everybody's going to be different. You know, some of you guys may call it ugly. A lot of you guys call it badass and, and good looking. I'm on the side that's, I think, I've always thought it was good looking. Even the older ones, I think, but the new ones, I think, are even look better with that, that headlight. Um, uh, listen to that triple, though. Listen to that triple. Now, that, that MT-10 sounds legit, too, that cross-plane engine, when you put an aftermarket exhaust on that, too. So, it's legit. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either bike. Just put it out there. Some of you guys are just power-hungry, like you just all you care about is top end power then you probably want the mt10 i like i said i've had the lita bikes already i'm not the top end bandito i just want you see what i do out here guys i just rip the throttle zero to I will, <laughs> like zero to 100 you know even zero to 80 or something i like that grunt pull i want it fast off the line and this bike meets that criteria and it's a fairly it's a lightweight bike when you remove all when you remove the stock exhaust the fender uh and you you know this bike sits at what it drops 15 pounds major weight loss compared to some of the other bikes i mean this bike sits at like 410 pounds modded with this much power it's it's awesome and like i said so comfortable uh, it, it's a reliable bike. It's been out a long time. The MT-10 has been out a while now, too Like I said, you can't go wrong with any of the the MT-7, MT-09, or MT-10. It's just a matter of What you're looking for if you are a new rider Definitely the MT-07 and the MT-07 might be a little too much for you because it has some pull off the line on that But that's a bike you can grow with for a while. You're not gonna get tired quickly You know I definitely wouldn't recommend starting on an MT-09 or obviously not the MT-10, of course. But for those of you guys that are looking to step up, you know, say you're on your, uh, your, your starter bike right now that you've had for a year, you're ready to move up to the faster bike, you're, you're having trouble choosing between the MT-10 and the MT-09, I'm going to tell you guys that you're probably better off with the MT-09. But you have to mod it. If you buy it brand new like I did, this 2020 MT-09, you've got to put a full exhaust and flash the ECU for this bike to be proper. To ha it's a completely different bike now. It just, it rips. It just rips, man. 
Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, honestly, I I would be if I had bought an MT10, I would probably be displeased because I hate looking at the headlight. <laughs> it's not even the extra weight I could really care less because I don't really, you know, I don't do street Rossi stuff anymore. I don't fly around corners. It's dangerous. It's too dangerous out here on the street. I'm just cruise through the twisties and just rip it on the straights here and there. Uh, bust a wheelie here and there. That's what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love my my 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto, which by the way I did a full build series on. You might want to go check that out. Link in the description and comment section of the video. Absolutely amazing bike, just a wheelie machine. This thing is a wheelie machine now that I modded it. This thing wants to pull up the front wheel, um, but I need to tune the suspension on this. I don't know about the suspension on MT10, how much better it is. But the front fork on this is legit on MTL9, but a lot of people complain about the rear shock. Uh, but they say tune it to your weight and see how it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if I don't like it, I'll put an Olin shock on it. And I got this bike is straight up 100% amazing. It's amazing the way it is right now, you know. So there you go, guys. You know, that's why I personally chose the MTL9. And I hope it helps you in your decision. Honestly, most of you guys will probably be better off with the MT-09. Like I said, if you're a highway bandito or you maybe you want to hit the track here and there more often, you could do the track. A lot of guys use this as a track bike too. So it just depends on which. It's up to you. You know, really it probably comes down to looks more than anything because that's why a lot of you guys get the bike you get. You know, it's got power and you look at the looks. So... But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. I want to hear your feedback. How do you think the MT-09 looks compared to the MT-10? Um, what bike do you... Has this video helped change your decision now, maybe? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Book Up Moto. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Book Out Moto.